Hey, so this is Dane Bear with and Keller Williams, and we're talking to Alicia Stoby, and she's with Van Dyke Mortgage. It's a 26-year-old company run by Tom Van Dyke, and today we're going to talk about closing costs and what to expect. And Alicia, I don't know if we could just do two things. One is talk about what to expect for your close, closing costs for a lower principal amount loan, like under $150,000, and then maybe talk about what to expect above $150,000, because I understand there's a partition there. Is, is that correct? Sure. There's definitely a point of diminishing returns when the closing costs become fixed, so that's a great question. Thanks, Dane. Yeah, sure. Um, what will happen is there are fixed closing costs such as uh, lender processing fees, lender underwriting fees. You'll have title uh, closing costs. That could be um, the... Um, the survey, the title search, the title closing fee, and depending on what state you're in, the buyer may pay those, the seller may pay those, but those are traditionally fixed costs. Then you'll have sliding costs uh, because uh, the rest of the fees are based on a percentage of either the loan amount and or combination of the actual sales price. So when you get to under 150, some of the the percentages of closing costs overall become disproportionate because some of those other fees are fixed. Um, whereas some of them, the percentages are going down. So typically, we say closing costs, depending on what state, you can estimate anywhere from 3 to 4% is a good round number. Of course, you want to get a much tighter number from your lender before you make the offer on your house. And then, of course, uh, you'll get a good faith estimate once your lender discloses and you, uh, has originated your loan. And then the over 150, uh, it works the other way. So you'll have fixed fees, the same ones, They'll maybe the lender processing fee, lender underwriting fee, uh, appraisal as well, closing cost, uh, closing cost to close the loan from the title company. And those, as you get higher, will become smaller than the other fixed fees because if you have a three, four, five hundred thousand dollar loans, uh, the things that are percentages such as title insurance for the lender's title and the owner's policy, those are going to get higher whereas those other fixed fees will become smaller. So it just depends. So general rule, 3 to 4% for closing costs. Okay, wow. So I mean, and re so basically the, the idea is, is that if it's under $150,000 in principal amount, that there's a strong likelihood that you're, you're talking like a 3 to 4% of your closing costs. So if it's a $100,000 loan, that would be three or four grand mm -hmm. as a yes. range. But above that, the sliding scale is to your benefit, where the dollar amount might actually increase a little bit, but the percentage of the of the of the loan in terms of total cost is is less. Correct, and it also does vary by state. So depending where you're purchasing in, there are different standards for how much the seller pays and and traditionally what the buyer pays. Mm -hmm. And the state of Florida, or is there anything particular to the state of Florida since we are in? Beautiful, sunny Florida. We are. Um, great question again. Yes, yeah, so standard in the state of Florida, uh, not an as-is contract is a little bit separate. A builder's contract is uh, also a different story. But the basic contract you'll find typically, and again, it depends on the seller. So a builder's going to be different. Uh, Fannie Mae house may be uh, owned property may be different as well. But standard costs that the seller will pay for on behalf of the buyer are going to be uh, owner's title policy, deed stamps, closing fee, survey, and title search typically as well. Um, sometimes we see contracts that have the title endorsement also paid for by the seller. And then on top of that, there's the negotiated lump sum of, you know, one, two, three percent seller help also paid on top of those. But those are, are the customaries that are typical in the state of Florida that are usually paid for by the seller. Okay, well, you know, we got a lot of detailed information on closing costs. If you have any information, uh, you can reach um, Alicia or myself at, we're going to both give you our cell phone numbers. Mine's 904-534-4516. You can text or call us at that number. And Alicia, what's your phone number? What's your contact info? It's 904-371-1965. Nineteen sixty-five, and you can always go to our website www.closein30days.com. And Alicia, thanks for coming on today. Thank you.